This is the one thing Indian engineers don't want you to know, how to build an electric motor from scrap. And it turns out to be simpler than you think. From a single new motor housing, they create multiple casting molds, while the old housings are broken into pieces and melted in a furnace at extremely high temperatures until they turn into liquid metal. That metal is then poured back into the molds, left to cool, and later drilled, machined, and polished. Once the housing is ready, the craftsmen place the laminated steel stator core inside, insert insulating liners into each slot, and start winding copper coils on a template with loops of different sizes. The most skilled workers insert each coil into its corresponding slot, braid the wires, secure them, and reinforce the insulation layers to prevent any contact. Then they pour insulating varnish to harden the entire assembly, connect the wires and the capacitor. The used rotor is resurfaced to make it like new, mounted onto the shaft with new bearings, and finally, the motor is ready to run as if it had just come out of the factory. 